Hello everybody, today I will show you how you can install, I, I will show you the unpatched way to install SwimJet on your Chromebook. So basically what you're going to do is, you're going to go to this link over here, and yes I did enable public share as you can tell. So the title can be shared, so yes I did enable sharing on this folder. And what you're going to do is, you're going to click on this file over here called flash .tini. and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the three dots and then you're going to click on download and then you're going to click over here on this pop-up download anyway and that's going to download your flash player for you well, actually, that's going to download one of my Linux backups that I've created for SwimJet. And I gotta warn you that this file may delete some of your Linux apps. But if the Linux, Linux apps don't update on it, then you do not have to worry about my warning. You can just use this file, and it will allow you to install SwimJet. I don't know if that's not contain my account on there, so you're good. I made sure it's not contain my account. <coughs> and I'm going to have to tell you all that if you want to use this file, then you're going to have to enable Linux. But since I enabled Linux, then this file will work just fine. It will just fine if you already enabled it. And then, you're going to double click on this file. A pop-up will ask you if you want to restore a backup. That happens to be one of my backups. So actually, you're going to click on restore. And what that will do is it will restore the Linux apps and your files. So yeah, that's exactly what it will do. It will restore SwimJet for you. But if there's an error, then you can always try again. If it, you can always try again and then make it like, do your stuff. So yeah, as you can see, it's a process of a moment. And I'm using version 94 of Chrome to show you that it will work. I'm not sure why it's stuck at 50%, but there we go, it's moving again. Don't I have a link to my Adobe Flash Player folder in the description below so that you all can access it and I promise you it shouldn't be patched. I'll make sure it doesn't get patched. Cause I'm running out of storage because I only have a real storage so I'm trying to make sure that everything is situated. And once that's done with storing, you can check to see a swim jet came back. If it did, then you can open it. So yeah, you can see we store complete Linux app as far as has successfully been replaced. So you can always check to see if swim jets came back or not. If it did, then good for you. Yeah, I'm not sure, but. That shouldn't be a problem, though. It shouldn't be. There, there we go. Swim just came back. Successfully came back. Yep, I was definitely really there for a second. Let me check my ring accepts again. There you go, guys. There's your swim jet. There it is. That's how you get SwimJet to work on version 96 or above of Chrome.
Just wait for it to load. Just wait for it. That's the reason why it says Flash Chrome work because at, when I put in there, it's an old version of SwimJet that actually allows you to revive Adobe Flash Player. That's why the file is named Flash Chromework.tini, which is a Linux revive image file. If that doesn't work, then just let me know and I'll try and think about uh, and I'll try to think of a methods to work it. To like work the system. So yeah, just feel free to let me know. And I will help you fix it. By using by using this method. And I believe that's the first method it didn't work for other people. I decided to make this method. So that way, some of you people can get SwimJet to work on your system. If I animated 3125 if you're watching this, I hope this one helps you. I really hope that this method works for your Chromebook. All you need to do is just enable Linux. I'll show you how you can do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings. You're going to go to Linux, develop a file, and like you're just going to type Linux, L-I-N-U-X, and then you're going to turn it on. You keep your dick size at 10 gigabytes, and then it should install Linux for you. So there you go. And now your SwimJet browser is open. It will ask you if you want to enable ad blocker. You can, you're going to click yes. So far, nothing pops up if you try to, like, do your videos. And also, about the update, just ignore it. So, yeah, you're just going to click on the drop down called update checking options. And then you're going to click never. And now it will never check for updates once in your life. You can add your account if you want to. But honestly, for the purpose, I just won't add my account. And if you want to test it, you're just going to go to Mishra's file. That's actually my link, and that's where I customized it. To make it possible to work. Like grab offline. So that's like grab offline 1.3.0. There you go, you just go type in that link. And then what it should do is, it should load. Your mission on this file. Boom. For some reason, it does go on there, but that doesn't matter. If you want to use go on the file, just click go on the file. Boom. Yes, I did make this HTML where you can like... Create your channel to make your video or do your video play or whatever thing. Yep, see that? Boom. You know, he's going to fire and you have it. Boom. You have your goal going to fire here. The figure of going to fire is loaded now. So yeah folks, there you go. There you have it. Going to fire life. You can do whatever you want this project, you can move around your character if you want to. You can like you can apply TTS on it, you can use actions like walking. Yeah, walk in one bit. So yeah, there you go. You can do whatever you want in this new subject method. You can even undo or redo your video here. 
It's a fail, folks. That's how you get Adobe Flashback. And you like it, then please make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And again, I'll make sure the link is in the description. So yeah, this is me, signing off.